the, the Cybertruck last quarter passed up the Ford Lightning as the best-selling EV truck in the United States. All full-size pickup trucks are basically luxury vehicles. The, the, the days of picking up a pickup truck for about 25 grand just are way behind us. Yeah, a good little truck and it's, and it's under $35,000. You'd think you would see those everywhere, but no. All we ever see are these $90,000 big F-150s, whether it's an EV or it's gas. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. I'm here today with engineer Mike Herzog. How's it going, Mike? It's a great Wednesday. Good to be here, David. Oh, glad to have you. We're going we're gonna to start off talking a little bit about the Cybertruck. The, the Cybertruck last quarter passed up the Ford Lightning as the best-selling EV truck in the United States. Where, where does uh, Rivian fall on that list? You know, Rivian's problem is probably production. I don't suspect it's a lack of demand, but but that R1T is expensive. You know, you're, you're talking an 80 plus, well, I, actually, I should just stop talking. All EV trucks, oh, wait, 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 let me just rephrase that. All full-size pickup trucks are basically luxury vehicles. You could go drive a Porsche or a Mercedes, but you choose to drive a ninety thousand dollar pickup truck. The, the the days of picking up a pickup truck for about twenty five grand just are way behind us. There are some things out there like like that Ford Maverick hybrid that gets it's supposed to get forty four miles per gallon based on the hybrid, which is amazing for a pickup truck. I think that Ford Maverick's really underrated for what you get. I mean, it's only got like a five foot bed or four and a half foot bed, but it, it'll seat four passengers comfortably. It sits four, a good towing capacity. Yeah, a good little truck and it's and it's under $35,000. You'd think you would see those everywhere, but no. All we ever see are these $90,000 big F-150s, whether it's an EV or it's gas. You know, same with the GMCs, the Rams, all that. It, it's funny. Year, years ago, we had a young, young kid started off, got his first couple of paychecks and went and bought a new, not new, but a used Audi, you know, a couple of years old. And, every, and everybody, oh, who is this kid? What's he, you know, you can buy this luxury card. Somebody pointed to pickup truck row, backed in along the back fence and said the same thing. It said, what, what are you talking about? Like, why well, drive a truck? Like, That's an $85,000 truck. You're driving that the platinum edition and it's got all of this and everything in it and it's just so they're nice they're lovely lovely vehicles to ride in they're comfortable they're big they've got all the bells and whistles but i i agree with you it's an f-150 anymore that is a luxury vehicle i got a uh an offer sent to me from gm to get an ev hummer which is about $110,000 for only something like 5000 up front and eight ninety nine a month lease. <laughs> Just like, you know, uh, but I, I think there was a limit. It might have been 7,500 miles a year or something like that. I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I, I was looking at, you know, what the deal was. It wasn't, you know, it, it wasn't driving in a whole lot, you know, but, uh, but you just look at all these trucks and they're so expensive. But Tesla's engineer clears the air on only the Foundation Series Cybertruck being available for order, saying it's aimed at simplifying ordering processes based on what we are producing today. You know, originally when the Cybertruck was promised to the public, it was supposed to be, the uh, there was going to be a base edition that I think was only a single motor, maybe just rear wheel drive or 40000 They're not producing that one yet. And God knows what it's actually going to cost when they do out there but most of these early ones you see riding around well we've got a bunch here in omaha now and they're i think they've all been like ninety thousand dollars and up i don't know if any of them are i I can't tell the difference between whether it's just this founder edition or if it's a cyber beast the cyber beast is like 110 or more i think they're pricey i see a lot of them in just the basic stainless steel and i see lots of them wrapped that people say i've seen a a black wrapped one around like I've seen one really poor wrap. I saw one that was wrapped. It was supposed to look like Nebraska red, and it just it looks it looks like Nebraska red, but it's faded out in the sun for four years or five years. You know, it just doesn't look right. I uh, they're not they're not my favorite. I'm not cyber truck design. I, I it's not my favorite. And I've I've always been the advocate. I just want an EV that looks like a car and but it has to be electric. However, however, I will say every time we see a cyber truck, my kids get excited. Ooh, Cybertruck, you know, so it's, it does, I, I do the same thing, like, hey, Cybertruck, like, 
uh, it, it's unique enough. It builds the buzz. Um, I'm not going to go as far as say, oh, it's real cool. Like I, I, I'm not, I'm not on the Cybertruck bandwagon, but like in, in the grand scheme of Elon Musk's schemings and what he does, like he, he built a whole lot of interest. He, he it, added it seems the wild more like a SpaceX edition than it seems yeah. like a Tesla, right? It seems like mm-hmm. something more you'd lose use for outer space exploration. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it, it, it's it, it's buzz. He creates buzz with it, and it's so far. Uh, as as much as people like to pick it apart, um, I, I bet it's what five to one, ten to one negative articles versus something positive about a cyber truck. Oh yeah, you see it all the time. Oh man, I must get so much hate. You, uh, you, yeah, it had a couple of software recalls, but everything. You know, um, you, you can't be pro. F- I, I'm amazed the amount of hate he gets for being so pro free speech. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.